Hi guys, I'm Matsepo from Children of Success and today I'm interviewing this beautiful young lady over here. Please introduce yourself. Hi guys, um, the name is Labokhan Brenda Mutsumi and I'm 25 years old. I don't know what else she wants me to say, but <laughs> hey. Well, you guys are in for a surprise because there's something special about this interview. <laughs> Lebu, um, please tell me, how was your high school experience? Wow, high school experience. I've been to so many high schools, ne? But basically, my high school experience was a ride from to Joburg, Nelspreit, back to Joburg. You know, I've been to five different high schools, by oh, the way. One each year? Yeah, grade eight was Roosevelt, grade nine was Wham, um, in Godini, yeah. grade um, 10 was ABC, some fly by night school, grade 11 was Liberty. Um, my matric, I finally did at some college, called GP College. So I've my high school experience was, oh, was oh. right. Oh, five different high schools. Yeah. A girl. What was wrong there? Because that doesn't make sense. Um, for the longest time, I was chasing after fitting in. Mm. You know, um, my mom is a domestic worker, right? Mm -hmm. So I go to a white school, which I'm very, um, I'm, I'm honored and I, I appreciate the fact that uh -huh. she took me to the school. But as someone, um. Buya la senior co financially stable kona yes but afford but does not afford like other kids in the school. You get what I'm saying? Okay. So now Lebu has to fit in. How do I fit in? Because what kala I'm obese, I'm I'm not sexy. You know, and it's something that I wasn't bad. Okay. Bring out pictures here. So now um it played a lot on my self esteem and my self respect and loving myself. Because now I find myself going to all these schools chasing after. But when I went to WEM, you see, I got what I was chasing after. Okay. Because in Senna's 40, I, I come from Joburg, I speak this learning English. And you know, people think you're intelligent yeah, when you speak course, English, which course. is not the case. It's never the case. But I am intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I got that at WEM. I got the popularity. I got what I was you're looking the girl. for. But you see, I went back to Joburg, back to the competition. Now, Levels chasing after fitting in again, and the only way you can fit in, you know, when you go to a new school, mm -hmm. you become popular again yeah, for the first time. Of course, new girl, of course, type of vibe. But it dies down, and you need to sort of like keep it up. So now I must move to another school because for the longest time I had this emptiness in me. What caused that? Like I said, the 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 the, 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 the background I came the from in me. Oh yes, oh yes. You know? Wow. Okay, that is deep and. I mean, did that make you happy or were you just happy in front of your friends? For the longest time, I had a mask on. Yes. I, I, In the process, I lost myself. Mm -hmm. I didn't know who I was. You know, sometimes we live for impressing people, True. impressing our friends. I lived a life for the community. Mm -hmm. I didn't live a life for level myself. So I lost myself. There was no way I was happy. Because you know there's that moment, mostly the toilet, which is where you get to think. And I would be thinking, who is this? Where is Lebo Khan? And I lost yeah, myself yeah. for my teen years and my the most of my young um my young adult years yes. until I only found myself like last year. Then I now knew her. Oh, this is who Lebo Khan is. Twenty four last year. I was year, right? twenty four last year. Wow, wow. Here's what I wanna know. With that, mm -hmm. didn't didn't you fall into traps? Your pregnancy. No. Where do I start? Um, I've been pregnant five times. Wow. So, okay, this is how the journey goes. Let me break it down okay, for wait, you. Wait, wait. How many children do you have? I've got one child. Okay. So I'm going to break it down. <laughs> Let me break it down for you. And I think before I break it down, people need to understand. I'm not saying this because I'm proud of it. Okay. I'm saying this because now I'm a real person. Mm -hmm. I want to talk about the real issues that happen. I've been through it. And believe me, I'm not proud of it. But like I always say, I'm telling you my dirty laundry. Yes. And it's up to you if you're going to wash your own dirty laundry or you're going to add on to my dirty laundry. Do you get what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So what happened is when I was 16, I fell pregnant. And I was in a black private school. And obviously you're going to get kicked out, you mm. know. My mom finds out I'm seven months pregnant, and I think our mothers sometimes do things trying to help us, True. you know. As much as they our my implications, as well, they want to cover up, you know. So we tried to get an abortion, backdoor abortion, mm. because really in this country, an it abortion happens. is like buying a stock sweets or chippies, you know. Mm -hmm. So um, I went to a backdoor abortion, which was very traumatic. 
very traumatic. Did you do you that know? alone? Or was it no, alone? my mom was there. Okay. You know, and it didn't work. So I ended up having a premature um, birth, which happened like two months after I gave birth to a, a son, Homozo. Mm. But Homozo didn't make it. He later passed on after a month or two. I can't remember exactly. I was 16, mm. you know. But I didn't learn. I yeah, that's what, like I'm listening to you now. That's your first pregnancy. You was I would have supposed to. You were supposed to. You know, like no. for me, I wouldn't say you were abnormal, but any mm. normal person, that's when you come to your senses and you feel like you know what, this life that I'm living is just not working out. But Who I am I trying to impress because I'm suffering on my own? I now I'm putting like you saying your mom was your mom is a domestic worker. Mm. Didn't you realize that you know what? I'm killing both of us now. I'm not killing my myself you know, only. I always say when you're doing something, it is so right to you, because mm. that's what you are seeing. That's what you're exposing yourself to. It's like when you are a drug addict, mm -hmm. you're exposing yourself to drugs, True. and you don't see how wrong it is. So I mean, I've been fair, but fair was right for me. Yes. Do you get what I'm saying? Like you know, you, care about you know what else. we do as girls, like when we're growing up, must fair. But now it's a competition. True. Who's doing it better? True. So I was caught up in that adolescent stage, which is just papa and liking things. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So at 17, I fall pregnant again. Mm. That's baby number 16, two. baby number two. And what do I do? Uh, so not with the same guy, different school now. Different school, different guy. This guy who, who, who even left me with something else, you mm. know, impregnated me. And I got an abortion because Upi was is not his child. No, and course. then I must think of my future again. And I aborted the child. You know? You weren't brave person, eh? I aborted the child and it was traumatic. I'm not going to lie and say, I'm talking about it because I've dealt yes, with yes. those emotional issues and whatnot. Even though sometimes it does catch up, I'm not going to lie. You're human. It catches up. You're human. Sometimes I feel dirty. Sometimes I feel like, oh my God, how could you do that? But I went through it for a reason. So I can be able to sit here and share this of with course. you. You know what I'm saying? 17, like I, did, I, I bought so it. Sorry. 18, did level learn? No. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I'm not pregnant. This is, this is who you are. I'm not using a condom. Sex to me, hey. I fell pregnant again at 18, and what was my option? It's a Nigerian guy. I'm now dating other You've been different. Through it, hey? You've been through it. Like I, I've got, I've got a doctorate from life. Oh. Like life and gave me a doctorate. a doctorate. She's got a doctorate. I've got a doctorate from life. Like there's nothing you can tell me about. I haven't been mm. through, you know. And um, I aborted 18. He's Nigerian. He's not ready for a baby. What not? What not? It's easy, he gives me 750, we go, we abort the child. Did level learn? No. I got pregnant at 19. The same guy, the Nigerian guy. That's the only good thing about it. We got same pregnant guy, again. All of it all. And we had an abortion. And did I learn? No. My mom has given me the last chance to, to, to do my matric. I think one thing that I'm liking about this story is that now when she got to be with a Nigerian guy, it was a proper relationship. Before I even asked her that, she said, we fall pregnant. Mm -hmm. With most, most teens, it doesn't happen that way. Mm -hmm. I, I fall pregnant. Where's your baby daddy? He was nowhere to be found. So do carry on. So at, my mom would give him the last chance now because I was very rebellious. Mm -hmm. She's like, listen, um, it's 29 mm -hmm. now. Um, had I stuck to school, I was supposed to have finished matric in 2007. Mm -hmm. It's now 29. I'm supposed to be doing my second year in varsity. Had I yeah, if you lived right, if you can you know. Do and she's like, listen, um, Nati, look for record too much now. So it's either we are school and you get your matric and you pass your matric. Malfeila, I'm gonna find your job. Dotlina, eh, you know, with me in my kitchen. Mm -hmm. So I had to make up my mind. Living the life that you were living, there was no one how that you'd be a cleaner. But did Lebu learn? No. I did go What is wrong with Lebu? Lebu, but I found that I didn't pa, pa, and trying to fit in and trying to prove to your friends. And you know when you are told that you are beautiful, mm. girls, we use our beauties for all the wrong reasons. Because Lebu now thinks I'm on top of the world. Yes. Every other guy around the street corner is, 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 is stopping me. And I'm now using my beauty because... I'm now a trophy girlfriend. I'm mm. now sitting in front of that beamer. I'm sitting in front of that That's whatever it is. And it, and it excites yours. us. 
Indonesia Sanyalo, it, it, it excites us so much. And it wasn't a matter of Guti and living My mom was supporting me. It's not a matter of I wasn't getting COVID. My mom was supporting me. Mm-hmm. And whatever I would get from the guys, whatever money I would get, would be used for useless things. Turning it up with the girls, mm-hmm. buying them all booze. And, and buying cigarettes and being popular, it's, it's a game trying to fit in and mm. having that thing inside missing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Pa, pa. That's the bottom way of putting it. Where pa, are pa. all those friends like, now? Like, where are they? Where are all those friends now? Where are they? They've got cars. They have the degrees. Here I am, so still fine. starting. Now I'm in the pants and lay a foundation. You know what I'm saying? Well, but I can say it happened increase. for a reason. Sure. You know what I'm saying? It's like, happened yeah. for good. Sorry. Yeah. So at um, where are we now? At at twenty. Yeah. At twenty. Mm-hmm. I on that year though it was it was very traumatic. Um, I found out about my HIV status mm. that I'm HIV positive, and I know someone's watching this and thinking I have this girl. Yeah. Hey, she's hey. looking so and good. she's so chilled about she this. She cannot be HIV positive. You need to understand, I've dealt with my emotional part of being HIV positive. I've dealt with all of this as I do the work that I do. We'll mm-hmm. talk about that later on, you know, right. so people can get to know why I'm able to talk about my status like this. So, well, like 15 August 2009, time was around 1 o'clock, if I'm not wrong. I found out that I'm HIV positive. Wait, before you carry on, carry on what pushed you to test? Oh, I need to I dated this guy, mm-hmm. you know, this one, this celebrity guy, you know, celebrities, this celebrity guy. So this celebrity guy infected me, mm-hmm. right? I found out about his status before he died because he was on media mm-hmm. and whatnot. And when people read my story, they'll find out who that celebrity mm-hmm. is, you know, because mm-hmm. I did mention his name. I just don't want this to be about him yeah, right no, now. Of course, it's about you. And, um... So the celebrity, the thing is, back then, HIV nearly under like her heads, you know. HIV was not for Lebohang, who stays in the suburbs. That's what mm-hmm. I thought. It was for someone, lo salema kaya, lo feba ago, mara nam angi speng feba, but when I feba ago, I mean, it's not was civilized. Because you're not you like know? them, that's you what I'm saying. Things. So I, I thought, it's not for me, I don't live in a shack. I, I, I don't have eight siblings or ten siblings. Mm. The media was telling me that HIV is for those people. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? So I was ignorant. He told me after the Masiga when he was dying that mm. listen, I went around spreading this. And I need to get tested intentionally because he thought that that's they the, were rolling with the murderer. That's the perception people have, you know? But see, if I spread it, I'm not gonna die alone. And if I spread it, maybe it goes on my That's why you find mm-hmm. a lot of people who spread it, you know? And it's issues that... About themselves because they feel like, saying you keep it, I've given it to someone And I, I'm not going to die alone. Because remember, he also got infected by someone, someone else. else. True. So he, that, for him, it made sense. I'm not going to blame him. Yes, yeah, so I was I understand angry. Like when you explain yeah. it now, I understand. I think I understand where he was coming from. Not saying it's mm-hmm. okay, but I think I get where he's coming from. Like, I thought about this, Gary. Had I not gotten the knowledge I have now, I would have probably done what he did. True. Do you get what I'm saying? True. So, um, my my friends told baby daddy that um, you must watch out. Do you know our friends sometimes that's mm, bad. Mm. Even though sometimes it could be bad, bad, but this time it worked right for me because again, the type of friends we choose, we need to know mm-hmm. because some of our friends really can mess us up and some can actually help us because I feel even though they were gossiping about me, they yeah. helped me. Because had they not alerted him, mm. I would have probably not gone and tested. Oh, you true. know, because um, one morning we're messing around, having morning glory, or whatever it's called, <laughs> and glory condom first. So I think he was like, "Oh, Kane, they told me about this check. Mm. They just will get tested." And they can ignore them. It's a Saturday. I'm thinking about my turning up mm. later on in that evening. What's what said about this is that you and the celebrity were basically doing the same thing. Yeah. So with him, maybe he also thought this girl's doing her own thing. She doesn't care about <coughs> herself, so I might as well do what I do because we want him the same thing. That's sad. Sad, no? That is sad. Very sad. So we went to get tested, and the lady comes. I've got bad news, and I'm like, oh my god, this guy is really positive. Ta da! Mm-hmm. Ignorance. Mm. What and the lady, comes, the lady comes and says, um, I put you in a, 
you're HIV negative, CC, you're HIV positive. You what? But you know, Nyambeza. Yeah. Conscious is like, yes, it's very much possible. Because you screwed that guy. Mm. And that guy, when I was dating him, was, he had AIDS. But because he told me he's got TB, who am I to judge him? Mm. Who am I? No doctor. And I was not educated about these things. Yes, I knew about HIV. You didn't even and have AIDS. time for that. And you she know the sad part is I remember when I was in grade seven, my LO teacher saying to us, um, in in five years, one in um, two in ten of you here will be HIV positive. I'll never forget those words. Please repeat that. My LO teacher when I was in grade seven was our LO class, Mr. Daniels said to us that in five years, I'm in grade seven now, in five years, two in ten of you will be HIV positive. And when he said that to me, it didn't matter. Mm. But you see, when I found out about my status, that's the first thing that came into my mind, I that I was warned about this. That's what you know? happens, guys. Because I was taught Not about something it. something that you don't know about. Somebody out there already told you. And no, it used to be smarter than the virus. We knew about HIV, we knew that you get it by sleeping around in other ways, mm. obviously. But we always thought that we are smart. Mm. You know, I'm smart, I can get away with this. I'm too beautiful for that. I'm too... <sighs> I am too beautiful for that. HIV and it doesn't, I, it doesn't smell, because mm. she's a yellow bone. No, I'm not going to go in. This one, no, is dark, I'm going to go in. No. Because people actually think they are very superior True. to this um, um, thingy. So um, then after finding out about my status, I was writing my premium, so I had to block that out. Mm. I blocked HIV out, I'm like, we'll deal with you. But I'm still ignorant, of course, you know, and I must write my premiums now. But now I start getting sick. And obviously I've been pregnant before, I know what's happening. Mm. I'm like, what? Mm. I'm pregnant again. Dang. I'm pregnant, I'm HIV positive, I'm writing my prelims. My mom is about to kick me out because she's been warning me what is happening. And what was my first solution? No level. Get an abortion, deal with HIV, get your matrix certificate. But you see, it didn't work like that. Mm -hmm. And the guy I was dating, after a lot of activities or whatnot and disagreements, we decided to keep the baby. Mm -hmm. And he was supportive. He really was supportive. He was there for me. I'm HIV positive, I'm pregnant, he supported me, he didn't as I don't know, yeah. or what not, even though relationships have their yeah, issues, because we down. have broken up now, you know, and he's HIV negative, my daughter's HIV negative, and I got my matric, yeah. Woo! something good came out of this, I need to two distinctions, listen to that, <laughs> but then, the saddest thing happened when I gave birth to my daughter on the 21st of May 2010, on that day, I lost my womb, mm. you know, so now I had to deal with being HIV positive, I don't have a womb, I'm only 21, mm. but then I thought of all those abortions, I thought of all those, you know, yeah. I'm not saying um, I, I, I was meant to not have a womb or I was meant to go, okay, punishment, but what I did to my body, yeah, I know? feel like ignorance, I don't think you're the only one who actually does this. I feel like a lot of people, someone will be sitting and watching this, you've actually had 10 abortions, what do you think is going to happen now? Don't be crying and saying, I've lost my womb. I'm, I'm, it's, it's sad, but I'm trying to say that, don't be saying, I didn't see this coming, or why mm. is God punishing you mm. while you knew what you were doing? So, simply condemnize and so what, you get yeah, to that point. And what happens to most people is, born, uh, they might, um, the womb will not, they won't lose their womb, but they'll now have miscarriages mm. because your body is yeah. used to holding and letting go, holding oh, and letting go. So, so it can lead to other implications. I don't want to deal too much yeah, in no. depth. Maybe we'll have another session, session where yeah. we just talk about abortion and whatnot. But, you know, you need to understand that whatever you're doing now as a young person, think about your future. Mm. Because right now I need to explain to my husband that, listen, mm. I'm HIV positive, and again, I can't give you a child because my womb was lost. Would I now ex yes. would I now really think that guy would stay? You know, I can't blame him again. It's up to him because exactly. I wouldn't exactly. if I was a guy. Do you and that's the one thing that I am loving about this interview is that she's being real about everything. And Le was not only focusing on herself. She knows that. Listen, I wouldn't do it if I was an HIV positive. Yeah. What makes me think that someone else would be willing to stand up for such? 
that's that's some real thing. No, that is some hectic stuff, hey. So yeah, and then I um, life went on. I, I'm ignorant, but now because of protocol, hey, mm. you have to take your ARVs. Your city of account is low. You must protect this child. I did it, mm-hmm. but I was still in denial for mm. the longest time. Because most media people. is telling me that HIV positive is skinny, losing hair, poor, etc., etc. And Dawahang is none of that. I'm, I'm living in a, in a flat. I'm, 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 I've got curves for days. Yeah. I'm beautiful. I'm not losing hair. I'm still very much ignorant, you know, to a point whereby, um, and people must get me right when I speak about this. I don't say Kutsungulungulu doesn't heal. Yes. It depends on the relationship you have mm-hmm. with God and the kind of belief you have. Yeah. And that is something that is a topic on its own, you sure. know, which I wouldn't even want to go into. But I don't want to now be seen as if I'm saying Kutsungulungulu. I'm a, I'm a born again Christian right now, mm-hmm. but I don't want to be seen otherwise. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying is that. I then went to church, they prayed for me, I was delivered, I don't have HIV, and I did the mistake of stopping to drink my treatment, mm. you know, not default, it's called defaulting, okay. and um, I got taking my medication and I continued, plus at the time I was called um, KM, I don't want to say the real name, but I was called okay. KM, <laughs> <laughs> I was called, I was now being um um I'm no offense to Kanye Bao if she gets to see this video, yeah. but I was now called Kanye Bao to show you the kind of life I was, I was living. living. You know, if they call you Kanye Bao, then you know that no, I'm rolling with sugar daddies. I am yes, I've done sugar daddies. Yes, I've dated married men. I'm not gonna hide that because it's happening and I've done it. I don't know how many marriages I've broken apart. I don't know mm-hmm. because I, I've dated, you know, and um I'm working now. Um, fast forward, I'm working now. I'm being called Kanyin Bao and I've been delivered, remember? Mm-hmm. I don't have HIV. Yeah, yes. And I stopped my tablets. I'm turning it up. It's, it's hectic, you know. It's bad to me. It's, 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 it's up and down, you know, the hair. There's a song, Gara Ering, um, what your hair did, everything did. Are you fancy, Drake, huh? Are you fancy, huh? <laughs> yeah. I was pushing fanciness. Oh, fancy. And August again, I think my August, though, but this year, August has been perfect for me. My other August haven't been so <laughs> nice to me. So August um twenty August I'm twenty eleven. Mm-hmm. I defaulted on it on that year. Um I got sick. I remember I, the signs were there. Mm. But I ignored the signs. But you fancy I was now. losing weight, hello. I didn't like being mm. big. So hey, I'm a size thirty six. Hello. Who doesn't wanna be a size thirty six from a size now. forty? What? I'm fitting into shots. You know what I'm I'm saying? But those were signs which I chose to ignore. I get my appetite. Okay, cool. It means that I'm not appetite. I'm losing weight. It makes sense to me. Mm. I get some times I would. I eat a lot. So I don't have appetite. I I lose weight. You know what I'm saying? And. Um, I think I was a bit doomed, but no, I work in a call center, I'm always sitting. I've got all the justifying answers. every little yes. question for those, but she knew very well So the call center, always sitting down, Jaga, cool, my feet are bound to be tired. Yeah, yeah. But deep down inside, I'm going to show you And yeah. my mom was there telling me, I, I know you got faith, you believe in God, but take your pills. I was like, no, mm-hmm. are you now questioning my faith? They said, my mother, I I'm telling are you questioning my faith, mama? Who knows when I'm not a believer type yeah. of thing, you know? Because I had not accepted, and that I was living on um, Monster and Grandpa, and so I advertised that, and I did them free advertising, but anyway, I was living on Monster and Grandpa to show that something was wrong. Mm. I could not go to work in Nanatanga, a Grandpa and a Monster. It gave me a drug. It was my drug. On that day, I didn't have. Thank God, though, because I woke up, I fell on the floor. I'm thinking that I have a hangover. Mm. Dude, on the Saturday, I just you did everything. Back to alcohol, you know, all the works. And on the Saturday, I had just make over, new look, I'm going to work. Mm. <laughs> Let's hope that I know. Let's hope that I know. I fell, I couldn't do anything. I called my mom, the same mom that I disrespected. Mm. The same mom that, you know, sometimes we take our parents for granted. So I took our family to even gossip about our parents with our True. friends. Who so I found you know, the same mother, I went back to, I didn't call the girls I was turning it up with, I didn't call my sugar daddies, I didn't call my boyfriends, no, I called it, Megan Law, I don't sleep at home, she stresses about me, but I called her and obviously she came through, and my sister came through and I was taken to the clinic, 
And I remember my sister telling me, my sister Paula, I to learn like that day you smelled like rubbish. Because mm. in my insides were rotten. Mm. She was like, in the car, because you're my little sister, if you were someone else, I wouldn't have not been able. Because yeah. she kept on offering me gum, and I was thinking, what's wrong with this woman? But now I understand, you know what I'm saying? Mm. I was being bodily late. And she took me to the clinic, clinic but to know. I'm like, no, I was HIV positive, but I'm not HIV positive anymore. anymore. But now something's wrong with me. I don't know what's wrong. And I think doctors go through this so they understood what was mm. happening. And um, I had pneumonia. And after pneumonia, I had abdominal TB, after abdominal TB, everything was just going wrong. To point where I was in a wheelchair. And I know people are thinking, ah, level, but yeah. you, I've dealt with the issues. Like, I always say How that. How old were you then? 22. 22. I'm two years, yeah, 22. I'm 22 this year. Wow. So. You were young. I, I, I still could not. Like, I always say, you know, to show what you are young when you take your underwear off and you see a bit of dirt, mm. then it shows that you're still very young because I was. I was mm. You got what I'm saying? To a point whereby you can wear white underwear, you can take it off and it's clean. I think that's when you can tell what you know. Do you get what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, I was sick. I was in a wheelchair for some... I couldn't walk. I couldn't bathe myself. My mom was doing this. I was now HIV positive. Now I was like, yeah. Fuzi was worse because I had full-blown AIDS. Mm. And now I was... I accepted my status. Good to know. It's real. It's real. It's real. Now I'm HIV. So it took me to get to that level of almost dying. Remember almost dying when I lost my womb? Yeah. Now, second time around, I was on my deathbed. My mom was planning my funeral. Oh. I was seeing myself in a box going down six feet under. That's how bad it got. But because I had a purpose in life, yeah. you know, I, I came back. Yeah. It wasn't easy. Of it's course. still not easy. Of course. I still wake up and I'm like, but God, HIV, really? Me. Couldn't you have me. given me something else that maybe because it's, it's, it's you know I had to work with myself a lot to be able to get to a point where I am today True. because some people are gonna watch this video and they'll be thinking fuck really yeah it's always the case they're probably you know? thinking uh, over exaggerating are you serious whatever but the thing is there's so much to it mm. this is just the it's like we don't see what coca-cola goes through when it's being produced you know like you see the final product. product and you think it's all fancy so this is just the final product but there are a lot of other things that words will not explain mm. that i've been through but i can just share the final product and hoping that a girl can understand that yes i've messed up in life but mm. i still have a chance to, to, to rebuild myself. Yes, I'm HIV world. positive, but I'm greater than Umzala. I call HIV Umzala now, mm -hmm. you know? Like, people need to understand that it's not the end of the world. I've had 10 abortions, but because I've realized my mistakes, I can continue Jeez. with life. Yeah. It's not the end of the world. Nobody hates you. Don't hate yourself. You know, because if you if you don't stop stigmatizing yourself, people will stigmatize you. Yeah, it's like when you're yeah. fat. If you look at yourself in the mirror and be like, ah, I'm fat, I'm ugly, people will people see, see you like that. that. Way. But people if you're able to look at yourself and say, you know what, this is my loaves are, are perfect. Like people will, because you are, true. you are sending out that message, people will get that message. And I mean, at the end of the day, it's not about people. That's what most people misunderstand about it's life. Not, it's, it's about not, you. It is not about And people. until we get to a point whereby people can actually understand what's, this is my life and it's about me, we'll have a better South Africa, we'll have a better world. Because again, as young people, we have a big problem of thinking that it's about everyone else but yourself. yourself. And that's You're pleasing your teacher. In school, you want character. At home, you want character. With your true. friends, you want character. character with, with your boyfriend, boyfriend you want character. Else. That is true. You need to get that one character that everyone will accept. You know, if you're allowed to be loud everywhere. I think it's only easy to do that if you accept yourself. And that's the problem with people because right now, I want to be like Label. I want to mm. be confident like Label. But it doesn't work that way. Mm -mm. Just find yourself. Like with you, you said that it took you like all of these years like these journeys and it's been seriously hard for you but you finally found yourself you are just raising awareness about this thing there's no need for me to do it your way in order for mm -mm. me to find myself mm -mm. i'm sitting here to me after you've shared so much i feel like wow you know what everything else that i'll be doing after this interview i like i, I think i have a different view on life because of what you just said and i'm not saying that I'm gonna do it the way you did it but mm. i'm saying mm. that the way she did it mm. she found herself i better fix myself in order to have a proper me 
no need for me to get to a point no. of Zala after you've taught me. And it's, it's enough the role with your models. experience. Yeah. Again, the kind of role models you choose. Like I, I'm, I don't have a problem with having your role model as as Ubi, you know, Beyonce mm. or whatever. But look at your role models. I think I had all the wrong models. Mm. You know, my role models were. I won't mention names, but I had role models. And what's said about no. them is that you chose them yourself. I chose them myself. They didn't volunteer to be your role models. You took the, the rotten potato in the bunch and you said, you know what, this one is My different, I want the different one. My dad always says, uh, when it comes to buying cars, people always say, why is everyone driving the, the same car? Why mm. is maybe the Polo the common one? Mm. It's because it's the most useful one, it's the most convenient yeah. one. If you go out of your way and do your own thing, you're going to mm. suffer alone. So sometimes go with what everyone is doing. If everyone wants to have Tepiso from Now Spray to the <laughs> young lady as a role model, mm. go with that because yeah. there's a reason. Exactly. There is a reason for that. Exactly. So guys. So yeah, I'm HIV positive. <laughs> beautiful HIV positive. <laughs> Sorry she guys. Life. She has worked from that. And I'm not going to cry me. about this. Hey, I've cried. People ask me, but... Get insensitive. I'm not insensitive. It's because this thing is here. It's not mm. gonna go anywhere. Me crying. Hey. It will not change yeah. anything. So I might as well just live with it. And dude, I make jokes about Umzala. Like I'll mm. wake up and be like, Oh God, Umzala's killing me and whatnot. Like it's gotten to a point whereby acceptance. It's my best friend. It's here. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna get it with that you have? You get You've got like I see it, Umzala, and I tell Umzala, listen, I want to work. Mm. Don't mess me up. You know, I'm giving you your food. What else do you want from me? Exactly. Type of thing. You to already point, own me. I'm yeah. feeding you. Can you just give me that bit of space? But, I, no, no, but you know, I always say I've given, I've allowed you to be in my body. Mm. So you're very, you like very it. much lucky that you are in this body. But now we're gonna play by my rules, type of, of course, thing. You know what I'm body. saying? So we need to get to a point whereby it's HIV, guys. Mm. In Mulaza, it's not, dude, there's diabetics, there's high blood like pressure. Cancer, if you've got diabetes, Lord have mercy, I do not wanna mm. get such things. You know what I'm saying? I think HIV must not just be a conversation with our parents, with our. When you meet someone, you're able to say, hey, what, what's your status? You know? So you actually do that? I have to. Do I have a choice? No, no, I'm just saying, hey, I'm just. It was hard. Yeah. I've had relationships where guys don't know about my status that I'm probably finding out now mm. that I'm in the public eye, so to put it. And they, I get those calls. <gasps> you... Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. I'm like... <laughs> but I told you. I'm sorry, no. Oh. I haven't tried to tell them. <laughs> hey! But at the end, niggas, you're like, yeah. I want to roll with him. That's and normal, if I tell them about my status, it's not going to... But now I don't have a choice but to say. I heard that some, this, this morning when I was on TV. Mm. So imagine if I was dating someone and they... Switching on la pa. And then they like Here I am busy advocating here. And not a bunch of in your jaw la mina. Do you get what I'm saying? It's better for them to know because I'm protecting myself. Because mm. remember I can get reinfected. Yeah, that's what people don't understand. Do you understand. get what I'm they saying? Don't understand that there are two types so I'm of protecting HIV. myself and I'm protecting you. Because mm. actually we should yeah. have another interview where we just talk <laughs> about No, okay. We'll you know what I'm saying? Like, don't worry, yeah. But um I'm sure most of the time when guys ask you out and you told them about your status, they, th- they thought you were joking. Like, nice thick lady, African body, booty for days. That, that's, that's what I, I like. I, I, I try and explain how HIV doesn't have a face, like I told you mm. earlier on. And most people have put a face to HIV. That's mm. why I'm trying to change right now the face to HIV. Mm. Like, I, 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 I feel it's, it's when we need to work with the media more often. Mm. Sorry, to try and tell that story. Mm. Because right now... There's a CEO somewhere in Santon sitting who's beautiful as hell and drives a nice car and is mm. HIV positive. We need stories like that on yeah, camera. Yes, true. we've got those stories in um, the Bundus and whatnot, but let's bring other stories so people can actually see that HIV doesn't have a face. I have to sometimes convince people to a point whereby I must tell you that I'm taking Lamephodine. You must now Google it to see that Lamephodine is an ARV. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Because really people think that I must be skinny. And look somehow Society. but again it's about how you look after yourself i'm lucky that i look the way i look because some people who've passed through what i've passed through don't look like that yeah, hence i'm saying it would be cruel of me to sit down and not tell my story mm. and live my life and continue with my life imagine how many lives i'm impacting and how many people i'm educating true. had i sat down with my story and i could have 
mm. went to varsity, continued my life, got my whatever CEO position, wherever. But you chose. I must tell it. Mm. You know, and, and I don't. Something. I really don't care what people say after this. Like, it's not about people, like you were saying. It's really not. Doesn't milk my coffee. Doesn't butter <laughs> my bread <laughs> at all. Hey, at all. <laughs> Guys, yeah. that was my interview with Le Wuhan. After finding up, finding out about being pregnant five times, HIV and AIDS, mom almost disowning you, the works. I don't know why you will not protect yourself after this. You will not prevent. You will not even stay away from guys. There are so many things that you can do to just avoid this. I am personally pleading that you guys do something because <laughs> this is deep. After this interview, believe me, I feel like this is deeper than what I thought. So guys, thank you so much for watching this interview. Until next time. Bye.